ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ಹೊಸ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಸಿವೇಜ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಹೇಗೆ ಎಂದು ಹೇಳಿಕೊಡುತ್ತೇನೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ಇನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಚಾನಲ್ಗೆ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ನೋಡಿ ಅಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ಸ್ ಅ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿವೇಜ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆರ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕೀ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್
The first one is screening tank or bar screening tank. Bar screening is the first step in treating sewage water. It's a simple but important process that removes large objects and debris from the water. How it works? The sewage water or waste water passes through a screening tank with bars that catch large objects like sticks or wooden pieces, plastics, rags, and toys, etc. The caught objects are removed from the screen and disposed of. The second one is grid chamber. A grid chamber is designed to remove heavy inorganic solids called grit, like sand, gravel, and small rocks from wastewater. How it works? Wastewater or sewage water enters the grid chamber. The water's flow speed is slowed down, allowing grit to settle by gravity. Here heavy particles like sand and gravel sink to the bottom. Then grit is mechanically removed for disposal. The third tank is primary clarifier or primary sedimentation tank. A primary clarifier is designed to remove suspended solids and organic matter from waste water through sedimentation. How it works? Sewage water enters the primary clarifier, settling heavy particles called sludge, which settle to the bottom, while lighter materials are called scum, which float to the surface. Settled sludge is collected and removed for further treatment. Floating scum is skimmed off from the surface. Fourth tank is aeration tank. An aeration tank is a critical component in sewage treatment, where microorganisms break down organic matter in wastewater using oxygen. How it works? As sewage water enters the aeration tank, air is pumped into the tank creating bubbles that increase oxygen levels. Aerobic microorganisms like bacteria use oxygen to metabolize organic pollutants. Then the organic matter is converted into carbon dioxide and biomass. Next tank is secondary clarifier or secondary sedimentation tank. A secondary clarifier is designed to separate treated wastewater from biomass, activated sludge, after biological treatment. How it works? Wastewater and biomass from the aeration tank flow into the secondary clarifier. Biomass settles to the bottom as sludge, while clarified water rises to the top. Settled sludge is collected and removed. Clarified water is sent for further treatment or discharge. Filtration and disinfection. Filtration and disinfection are critical steps in sewage treatment, ensuring that treated wastewater is safe for discharge or reuse. Filtration. Removes remaining particles like sand, gravel. Improves water clarity produces clearer water by removing fine particles. Disinfection. Killing of pathogens. UV light destroys harmful microorganisms. Then the treated water or clean water is released into the environment, like ponds, rivers or oceans. Mm -hmm.